Now, I want you to notice something. That air we're paying attention to visually, that is, the air we're paying attention to in how judges are differing in how they make the ratings of wines, is the subject by treatment interaction term. That is, we're paying attention to, visually, the interaction between subjects and the treatment effects, that is, between subjects and wine. Because notice, if there was a large subject by treatment interaction, something like this, where subjects differed quite variably in how they rated the wines, well, this would give us no indication that this is a stable effect. That would make us feel that judges are all over the place in how they rate these wines, whether or not there's some average difference between the wines. But notice, in the data that I showed you, the ones where all the judges made very similar ratings of the wines once we subtracted off their overall average, this would give us an indication that we have a stable effect. And that's why that interaction term is actually the error term in our model. And remember, interactions are always addressing the same question. Does the effect of one factor depend on the levels of the other factor? So in this case, we state it as, does the effect of wine depend on the judge who's making the ratings? So if that interaction is small, if the effect of wine doesn't depend on which judge is making the ratings, well then we have evidence for a stable effect. However, in the other case, when the effect of wine depends greatly on who is making the rating, well, that would give us no indication that the effect of wine is stable. So that interaction term is actually what is capturing air in our model. And for even more complicated models we'll see later, the interaction terms with subject will be the air terms we'll look to. So in this case, we only have one interaction term, one air term that is capturing the stability of the effect, the interaction between ta and rho.